Hi everybody, Chris here from BTX Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at the Minray KBD2000 PTZ controller. We've been talking about Minray cameras for months and how great they are. If you're in a situation where you can't easily control your cameras with the included IR remote, or if you're going to change your camera angles periodically during the production, this is an important part of any camera rig. Let's take a closer look. Before we even get into the functions of the KBD2000, let's take a look at the construction. This is sheet metal. The price point is so good on this that some people might assume it's plastic, but this is a metal box. It's very sturdy construction, definitely professional grade. Looking at the back, of course we have our Ethernet connection. This is PoE powered. You'll notice I don't have anything else plugged in, yet it's powered up. Very nice feature. You've also got RS-422, RS-232, and of course all your Visca, Palco, IP commands are going to come in over the network. Um, you do have an optional 12 volt power supply input if you want it. Nice small form factor. It sits kind of low, so it's not going to take up a lot of room on a table. Now let's talk about what the panel actually does. It won't be possible to cover all the features of the KBD2000 here, but it's important to point out that it's not just for Minray cameras. You can use this controller for anything that accepts RS-232 or Visca over IP. There's a whole bunch of cameras on the market that will work with this. Uh, there's hardly any features that are specific to Minray. So going from left to right, autofocus and auto iris will be engaged by default, but you can disengage them and control both of those with these knobs here. This is your zoom rocker to zoom in and zoom out. You know, you demonstrate that real quickly like right there. Uh, if you did want to use the uh, joystick for zooming, of course you can twist that left and right and that'll have the same effect. Also, if you wanted to maybe uh, create a preset, we can pull this off to the side. That'll be our preset. If I hit preset one, enter, I've now created that preset. So if I go back over here and then I decide, well, I want to go back to that preset, I'll hit call one, enter, and there it automatically went back to that preset position. You can have up to 256 presets per camera stored in the unit, and of course it is a four camera unit. Right now I have it set up for two cameras, but if you wanted to onboard a new camera, there's a search button here where it will go out and find the cameras connected to the network and ask you if you wish to onboard them. If you say you want to, you'll just tell it what camera you want that to be, one through four. You'll enter the admin name and the admin password, and then it will lock up, and from then on it will be associated with that button. Um, there's probably uh, a million things I can't get into right now, but you do have basic things like PTZ speed. You've got your red and blue balance here. If uh, you want to do an auto white balance, that's connected here. Uh, pretty much everything you'd need, all the things you would normally associate with a commercial grade camera PTZ controller are here. This is the embedded UI of the PTZ controller. Here you can see static address, uh, the IP address that I've assigned to it, all the usual things. Restore to factory defaults, upgrade firmware, reboot the unit, uh, no surprises here. Uh, but you can also go to inspect what's currently going on and you see that list of cameras the two that I mentioned earlier have been onboarded and they're here in this list. But if you had a whole bunch of cameras, you'd have the ability to store them here and onboard them as needed, because remember the controller can only do four at a time. Uh, this is pretty nice, just gives you a little bit of extra feature set um, if you're more comfortable using software than on the panel. But you can do virtually everything from the panel of the controller, so this is just here if you want it. Thanks a lot for taking a few minutes to learn more about the Minray KBD2000 PTZ controller. The one thing we didn't cover is how great the price point is, but we're going to make you call us for that. I guarantee you it'll be worth the call. Please contact BTX or go to www.btx.com.